And basically, this is all the behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't really get on the radio. So, no. doing extra little things. Um, you can see exactly just how unprofessional we actually are in real life. Yeah. So, I mean, just how professional we are in real life. What did you say? I said I'm professional by accident. Oh. Just slipped out. James, maybe a little bit, oh. me not so much. Oh. I don't think she likes you guys. You're not very professional, are you? Uh, I think we should just show them the video of when we did that face yoga on air on today. That's a great idea. Did you join in? Are you doing a bit there? Is that face yoga? No, I mean, she looks quite happy actually. She doesn't. Anyway, here we go. Here's our face yoga. So we are here with Danielle Collins and we are going to be doing some face yoga today. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm nervous. Nervous? Yeah. So be nervous. So be nervous. <laughs> so, Danielle, just go through what you're going to be doing with us. What, what things are we going to be doing? Okay, so we're going to do a few face yoga exercises. We'll have to pull a few funny faces, okay. all right? It'll be good fun. Yeah. So all the exercises are designed to strengthen the face muscles and improve the skin tone. Um, so very good for anti-aging, very good for lifting firm in the face, very good for giving skin a really nice glow as well. Okay, well, okay. You ready? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you look a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. It's fine. It's alright, Jen. We can do this. Okay. Can do this. Okay. okay, okay, right. Okay. Curl our lips over our teeth, making an O shape. So go. And then go from that O shape to a smile shape. Still hiding the teeth, and then back again to the O shape. So go. That's it. So keep that going. You can do it to camera. <laughs> <laughs> so then you want to hold that smile shape, place your index finger here onto your chin and you're going to scoop your jaw backwards so you're going to go, now go back as far as you can and then come back down again. That's it, good. Okay, so how did that feel? And right. that was good, yeah. and I feel it working. Yeah. Good, Definitely. good. Definitely. And you can imagine if you're doing that every day. I swear. Well. Yeah. It really just helps keep this area nice and tight. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 don't want to keep those jowls away, don't you? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so next one is my favourite one. It's really good for pumping and firming the lips. Okay. Um, yes, and really good for the neck area as well. Okay. okay. It's called Kiss the Sky. So we lean back and we go, So ideally you want to do this for about 30 seconds. This is good so practice again, for you for kissing, James. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good kissing practice. So again, you want to feel those neck muscles working and you want to push the lips out as much as possible. Okay, <laughs> okay so next one, really good. Um, again, for puffiness and dark circles under the eyes. Really simple on this one. So index fingers and we just pack all the way around the eye area, so just in a circular motion. I like this. And it's sort of, it's really nice. It does yeah. feel really nice. It's lovely. And it's nice if you do use any sort of moisturiser or eye cream kind of thing to put that on oh, first and then tap afterwards like this. I'm absolutely going to do this every morning. Oh yeah. It's lovely because it really helps to remove the toxins as well that can cause those dark circles or that puffiness. And then you just sweep under the eyes. So you sweep and release. That's it, and do twice more. Sweep and release. And once more, sweep and release. And then if you just place your index fingers on your temples and just massage that area. Ooh. So really nice stress reliever, this one. So this is what I should have done before you arrived, so I wasn't stressed when you arrived. This is good. This is a chill out one. It's good to do before you go to bed at night, if you've had a hard day. This is nice. Yeah. yeah. 
this is a lovely acupressure point. And this one's actually been used for thousands and thousands of years in Chinese medicine um, for relieving stress. Has it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, whenever I feel stressed, then this is what I'm going to do. This do, definitely. So if you do any GCSEs, if you do yeah. any GCSEs, they're coming up, aren't they? Yeah, I've done a couple of them. When you sat there revising, just do this for five yeah. minutes. Yeah. It does make such a difference. Yeah. It really just helps you to feel much more relaxed. Oh, it does. I think I might have been to go for a nap. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to lie down on this. Definitely. Okay. This one's called the lion. This might scare the dog a little bit. Okay. It's so nice. No. It's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it can if you want to go for Okay, we'll get to this oh, one. <laughs> okay, so you're going to close the eyes and hold all the tension that you might be feeling in your face. And then, as you exhale, you're going to open your eyes, stick out your tongue and go... <sighs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of a noise, but not quite a roar. Yeah, so, so you can see this the camera. Ready? So closing the eyes, holding any tension, and then open the eyes, stick out the tongue, release the tension. <sighs> That's it. Once more. I wanted to watch you. Do. <laughs> can you do it? I did. Okay. Good. So once more, closing the eyes, hold the tension, and exhale. Stick out the tongue. <sighs> Well, that was amazing. Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, did you enjoy it? I feel like my face is... Do you know what my face actually feels? I feel like refreshed. Yeah, I feel like I should go out for a party now. Do you? Yeah. Party. Yeah? Yeah, party. Party now, okay. Yeah. Space party. Yeah. Sorry, the rest of the radio show, what? Let's go for a party. Yeah. Well, thank you ever so much. I really appreciate it. It was a pleasure having you. We will continue this thing. Definitely. Yes, we'll definitely. Do, we've got to do pictures now yep. in a few weeks' time. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll give you a little update about yes. our wrinkle free face. It wasn't my wrinkle free face. Right. Yours. Yours. Yeah. Yours isn't there yet, yeah. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. So thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you for having me. Brilliant. As it was Pancake Week this week, um, Georgia and I thought it'd be a good idea. We're filming this, by the way, for the video later. We're filming, we're filming. Yeah. Georgia and I thought it'd be a good idea to have a pancake flipping competition. The only problem is we don't have pancakes. So we are using a frying pan. A and really old frying pan. And? Jason Vale Juice Master Book. It's going to work as well. So it's whoever can flip successfully the most. Pretty much exactly the same as a pancake. Oh, yeah, we won't be able to tell the difference. No. Okay, so Georgia will go first. I'll count. Okay, Georgia. What are you counting? How many flips? Oh yeah, of course. Three, two, one, go. And that's one second flip. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, okay, that was about 30 seconds. So 20 and 30 seconds. Okay. So you give me 30 seconds as well. Okay. Okay, do you want to switch positions? Hang on, if I'd have known it was a speed thing. Know what, Georgia? Let's just, let's just stick it so far. It's a very beautiful, I feel like it was meant to be like that. It was sort of very urban hipster okay. frying pan. Yeah. Let's stick with that backstory. My book said pretty well. Yeah, so now I'm going to try this. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be a bit more adventurous. I think. I'm, I'm looking for 360 degrees flips. Are you going to do a spin? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's switch positions. Switch, switch. So, so Georgia got, what was it, 19, 20? 20, thank you. Okay, 20 and 10 seconds. Make sure you check out the video of this later and us doing this. You're not allowed to go yet. I, oh, oh, that was nice. Should I put a little pose That was a cheap little pose. You've got like eight seconds before okay. it's time to start. Are you prepared? I'm always ready for this. Are you very nearly ready? Yeah. Okay, go. One, oh, two, two three, three, four, five, I'm like, where's the six? Oh. Ah! <laughs> champion, once again, once again champion. champion. I got six, you what? got 20. What have you got to say on the matter, James? Wait, what did they say in that programme? My name's James Gilmore, and I'm not smarter than a 10-year-old.